Hello and welcome to the show. Today we are going to be joined by Jo Austin who has a fabulous recessed window car to show us using the gorgeous collection. It's beautiful. But first of all, I really wanted to show you this lovely uh, hanging canvas sent in by Creativity Club design team member Kitty Frampton. Uh, she's also used the gorgeous range. She's Isn't really lovely? good at doing like altered art because she's done um, like door hangers and bags. She's really creative with what she does. It's pretty fantastic. Um, I it? love this. I can't wait to make something like this for my little girl's bedroom. That'd be really lovely. Yeah, it? it's gorgeous. Brilliant. Should we, um, should we bring Jo onto the show? Yes, let's. Come on, Jo. Hello, ladies. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the show. Oh, this looks good. Ooh, Tell us a little bit more. Gorgeous. It's all rather gorgeous. It's all rather gorgeous. I like them. <laughs> yeah, I always have to say yeah. it. Oh, it's, it is. It's lovely. It's gorgeous. Okay, so this is the card that I'm going Tell to be making. Quickly. Yeah. So this is your wow. framed card. Yes. Now, obviously, with the frame, I'm going to be doing the one that's on the outside. Right. But you can okay. also turn it round and do one on the inside as well, which is like this one here. Oh, that fantastic. I've created. Oh. So again, you've got two different looks with it. If you want to now, to yeah. your mini, it's brilliant. Cute. Oh, fantastic! Brilliant. Great. Well, I'll disappear, and then you two can get started. Okay. Okay. Brilliant. <laughs> Right, Jane, should we get started? Yeah. Good. Okay. So what I'm going to do is take an eight by eight piece of your craft stacks. Lovely. My favourite. Just save seven to cut into the blank, blank cards, that's all. Mm -hmm. and I'm just going to use my board, really, as a guide. So what I'm going to do is just score it a centimetre all the way around. Lovely. I have got a template as well here that I'm working to. So obviously this will be in your... We can um, pop that online. That's so that, online as well, so you've got the, the measurements on there. It'll be available in the Creativity Club it for is. Creativity Club members. Yeah, so what we're doing is just taking it in a centimetre at one side there, and then we just need to measure in, again, two centimetres all the way around. Okay. Okay, so just very quickly. So we've got a one centimetre section, we've got a two centimetre section, and then we're just going to go on with another two centimetre section on the inside. Brilliant. So what I'm going to do now is just score right across from one corner to the other on this inside square section here. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to say what I'll do is I'll just bring in the bit just of paper as well just again. to show so that's you. what we've achieved on yeah. the... It's quite hard to see with just the score line, Yeah, isn't so it? we've got so the one centimetre got. section. Obviously, this is not drawn to scale, but no. you've got the one centimetre, a two centimetre, and a two centimetre. We've just done this cross. And then you cross in the middle. Okay. Okay, and then what we need to do, we need a two centimetre step as well, but you need to allow, obviously, for the fact that it's going to turn in. So ah, just allow an yeah. extra half a centimetre. So from each of these corners here... We're just going to take an extra half a centimetre and just mark that in. Okay, so this is from the outside edge. So we're going in two and a half just there. And you're going in two and a half just there. And then we just need to score in. Let's join those up. Join those up. Join those up. We'll just turn the ruler the opposite way around so it sits nice and flat. And then all you're going to do is you're going to cut it's one we made earlier. It's one we made earlier. <laughs> just obviously to speed it up just a tiny little bit. You see, obviously, we've measured in the two and a half centimetres just here. Yeah. Which has given us this little step. I see. And then what we're going to do is take your craft knife and you're going to cut on that little that little um, square sh section I see. in the middle there. Yeah. Okay. So all these little sections here, you can see there, that's going to create your ah, aperture. Ah, you can see we're getting our card. aperture there already. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay, but obviously this needs to go on the inside. So what we're going to do is just press that down on the inside there. Okay. And then these little sections that are left over from that two and a half centimetre line are going to come up. So you're just going to press those back on oh, themselves. Oh, I see. Okay, so there's a little bit of shape and a little bit of yep. bends in, and that's about it, really. Now, in the corners, again, we'll just nip back to the template okay. again. What I've done is I've cut, obviously, up to the first two centimetre line. Okay. And then I've taken off. This one centimetre line. Oh, the little bit where, around yeah, and about. Just there. around and about. Got you. So you've got this little section here. Okay. And then cut the, the diagonal there That's as well. It. Yeah. Okay. So these little sections are going to come to the inside. Okay. And you can see there I've just uploaded double sided on there. Fold those sections back on themselves, bring your corners together, and then just press those little pieces oh, underneath. I see. Okay, so you've just got yeah. this little tab under there. Fantastic. So there we go. So you've got your four corners in place. And then this little one centimetre edge there, that's going to fasten it onto the card. Oh, I see. So you can see there, you've got a fantastic you little box. You can see box. where we're, what well, the point we've got to, can't we? So yeah. we've got the, see the, the depth of the box there. That's it, yeah. Okay, so if you wanted to put this onto your card, onto the inside, what I would do is pop it into the inside of your card, shuffle it along. Yeah. Sorry. And then just make a little mark and then just score it and then just measure your width. 
score it again or even bring it up so you've got an extra score oh, so it line. gives you the little spine there. Yeah, so you've got your I spine see. and then your front will close over the top. I've got so you. it's quite simple to do either or of those. Brilliant. So what we're going to do now is just decorate up the outside of the box. Okay. I love this paper. I love the gorgeous oh, paper. It's absolutely stunning. It's one of my favourites, I must admit. They're fantastic, aren't they? That's it. I'm saying all the colours, I always tell everybody, all the colours in the pack all go together. It doesn't matter what colour you put with what, it's all going to mix and mingle together. There's also a really good, oh, actually, before I get onto that, I was just going to say okay. there's a wonderful 8x8 pack that comes in naturals as well, isn't oh, there? It's beautiful. It goes really well with yeah. everything else. I think it that's does. My favourite, actually. It does. Right, we've had a question come in okay. from a viewer, and it's from Christine in Kent. Thank you for your question. Thank you, Christine. And she's asked, which craft is your favourite? I know you do oh, all sorts of different I crafting, do, don't yeah. you? At the moment, I've got to say it's soft toy making oh, and soft really? crafts and making little bags and things like that. Um, but I also like stamping and colouring and doing things like that. Anything really. You've been making some lovely toys for us recently, haven't you? In the uh, yeah, May issue of Creativity magazine, Joe's made, which I'm sure you've seen, a uh, beautiful fox toy. So um, if you haven't already seen that, check out the May issue and you can have a look at Joe's yeah. amazing toys. Okay, so all I'm going to do is just stick the corners together. So okay. just fold obviously your corners over. And you've got a little bit of double sided tape on there so we can just make sure that again you're nice and square. And that's just going to mount wherever you want to pop it onto the front of your, your card there. Oh, that's so simple. And then just lift up these little sections here and press down your little oh, edges. So that's why you haven't decorated the front first. Yeah. Very I would say, clever. obviously, you just, it's all little I'd have decorated it all and then struggled to get it on. That's it. <laughs> and then I've got a little bit of double-sided tape just on this outside section of those little flaps. Yeah. And they're going to come in and just sit. So you've got nice straight oh, edges. Brilliant. Okay, and again, that's just going to give it that extra little bit more stability on the front of your card. It's not going to come off. There we go. So that's in there. Okay, now my other little bit that I tend to do as well before we do anything else is I'm going to make a box to go on the inside. Now, you Ooh. don't have to, but the little tiny box is a very, very basic box that okay. we've seen before. Primarily because if you look right into the corners of here, you've got little gaps. Oh, I see. Okay. Yep. Now, you can leave it like that and just cut a piece of paper to pop in if you want. Yeah. But my little box that I've made... I want to be super neat, we can make yeah, it. Yeah, all I've done is I've just measured and then just added in two and a half centimetres on the side. Okay. So when I create the box, that's just going to come in just drop and it sit in there. in there. Brilliant. Okay, so just put that to one side. The very simple box... And we box. can pop the template for that on the, online as well. We can, so when yeah. uh, Joe's yeah. made it... Um, we'll so that's really easy. But basically, you just go around. I'm just going to do this very quickly. It's not particularly straight. But just to give you an idea, Give's all you're going idea. to do is just... Cut into sides of your box there. So again, I've just measured, added a little bit on, obviously for the depth of the box. Yeah. And then all we need to do with this one is just cut. Snip the corners. Snip the corners and fold it back. This is the easy, easy box. Yeah. Okay, so all you do then is just fold your edges down, fold that little section in. And just glue them in place. And just glue them in place. Fantastic. And that gives you the inside box. Good, good. Okay, so now what we need to do is the decoration of the outside. So what I've done is I've just used a border punch just along some strips of paper. It's one of the X-cut border punches. Yeah. Like I, said, I love my X-cut border punches. <laughs> it makes it so easy because it's got the marks on yeah, the sides. Yeah, definitely. And you can, you can punch all the way up to the That's size it. of your paper, can't you? So you they're can. brilliant for scrapbooking as well. So, okay. I... so nice surround all the way around that. Lovely. And then all we need to do is just take your scissors and snip those edges off. Oh, that's nice and quick, isn't it? It is. Okay, so for the outside decoration, I've just got a little gorgeous girl that I've just built up. With a bunny? With a little bunny. Mm -hmm. And what I've done is I've gone around the outside edge just with a black pen. So the black Brilliant. artist pen, yes. just to hide those white edges. And then obviously just to sit her in place, because she's going to rank over the edge yeah. of the box, all I'm going to do is open the card, stand it up, and so she looks like she's, she's stood so in place, she's, she's, not, stood. she's not hovering. Yeah, <laughs> pop her in so you know that she's nice and flat up against the surface there and just pop her on. Perfect. And then the other thing I've done just to finish it off is I've actually taken some of the beautiful gorgeous papers just to match in again and I've put some little glue dots on the end. I've cut this out of the tea party dies. Oh, those are fantastic, I love aren't these they? dies, yeah. So again, we're just going to take that little section off of there the middle is going to stick onto the front of the aperture and the outside is going to stick on oh, the main part of clever. the card. That's clever, so real so it's got a little bit more dimension. Fantastic. There you go. That's brilliant. Wonderful. Thank you so much for showing us that's that. That's fantastic. Right. 
If you have a, a go at recreating Joe's project or make another 3D project using the gorgeous collection, we'd love to see it. Why not send us an email to tv at docrafts.com and we may feature your project on a future episode of Docrafts TV. Uh, in the meantime, thank you for joining us and happy crafting.